The first time that sound cut across my airwaves, the song was like a rolling stone, and it was as if someone, Dylan, had found a crack in the surface of day-to-day -day life and pushed up through it, erupting. Like a Rolling Stone was six minutes long, outrageous in a world of two-and-a-half-minute records. It wasn't the opening smack of drums that got my attention, or the bluesy roll of organ and guitar, and it wasn't the lyrics, though everyone said they were deep. I could barely hear them, just the slightly chill rush of hip, distorted description and the big chorus that began, How Does It Feel? No, what made this thirteen-year-old take notice was the sound, especially of Dylan's voice. Strung out, slurred, but piercing, its delayed attack would lag behind the beat, then rush forward, then drop back again, the keening of a tool being sharpened. For all the singer's humor and apparent ease, it was the sound of anger. It didn't really matter what he was angry about. At thirteen, I recognized the sound and was amazed and delighted. Somebody was fighting back. The song amounted to a long, rich, unstoppable rant that kept rising in intensity, as if whatever had pissed him off, or whomever, he kept shouting, you, you, wouldn't quite die. Needed another cut of the blade, and another. The song was one extended build, ratcheting up between each triumphant chorus until six minutes didn't seem long enough. The anger never got resolved. It just blew out through a harmonica before fading into the distance. When the tune finally ended... I couldn't believe a radio station would actually let a song go this long. That was part of the thrill.